Hey guys, <clears throat> welcome to today's video. Welcome to the very first Beauty in Books. In today's video, I'm going to go over or review the book Reminders of Him by Colleen Hoover. And as you can see, this came from Target. <laughs> However, this actually came from my daughter. So, while I talk a little bit about this book, I'm going to use this palette right here. Y'all know I'm not a huge fan of Morphe, but th this is their latest collaboration with Jaclyn Hill. This is, it's called the Divine Neutrals palette, and that's what it looks like. And I've seen not even mixed reviews on this palette. I've seen just it's been kind of trashed almost. Um, and I had no problems with it. So, I've only used it a handful of times. So, you know, I thought I'll just do just a simple, nothing major. I, I don't even think I'm going to do my full face. Um, my plan was to do um, a different video today with a different palette, but um, maybe you can see on my hand here, I had a mishap with, and probably on my sleeve, <laughs> it got everywhere. I had a mishap with my one of my Z palettes. I was going to go over some singles, and unfortunately... It, one of the um, pigments fell out of the actual little pan, and it got everywhere. So, I was literally getting ready to hit record when I saw it. So, I was like, oh, man. So, I had to clean that up. So, I've got pigment probably everywhere. So, if you see some random spots of color shifting shadows, just pay no mind. <laughs> Now, I did prime my eyes with, I just used the um, Essence Camouflage. I'm going to take a little bit of my Bye Bye Pores Pressed Powder from It Cosmetics and set that concealer down. And let's talk about this book. My daughter, that's what she asked for for Christmas <clears throat> was a bunch of these books. She's she's given me two more. Um, this was just the first one that I picked up to read. And y'all, normally when I pick a book up, I don't put it down. However, now that I have grandchildren and you know adulting I can't read a book all the way to the end unless I start first thing in the morning and you know and I'm done by five anyway I am going to go in and basically just use a bunch of these colors I want the focus to be on the book, not necessarily the palette. So, anyway, the I will read you the back. So, the name of the book is Reminders of Him. Okay. It says, A young mother fights to earn a place in her child's life. But is there room for her? After serving five years in prison for a tragic mistake, Kenna Rowan returns to the town where it all went wrong, hoping to reunite with her four-year-old daughter. But the bridges Kenna burned are proving impossible to rebuild. 
Everyone in her daughter's life is determined to shut Kenna out, no matter how hard she works to prove herself. The only person who hasn't closed the door on her completely is Ledger Ward, a local bar owner and one of the few remaining links to Kenna's daughter. But if anyone were to discover how Ledger is slowly becoming an important part of Kenna's life, both would risk losing the trust of everyone important to them. The two form a connection despite the pressure surrounding them, but as their romance grows, so does the risk. Kenna must find a way to absolve the mistakes of her past in order to build a future out of hope and healing. Now, this book is, when I first read the back of it, I thought, yeah, this is predictable. I mean, you know, it's, it's predictable. In my experience in reading the, the books that I've read over my long, long history of reading books. However, it's the journey that really defines the character, the character of Kenna and the character of Ledger. It's a story that while there aren't any, I don't think there's any like significant plot twists in it. There's not. There's no, <clears throat> there is, there's, obviously, reading by the back cover, you can tell that there's going to be a relationship between Ledger and Kenna. And in that comes, you know, the, um, the S word. While it is not graphic in terms of you, you don't, there's no, you know, there's one line in it that is a, um, what, what is the, how, how do I put this? There, there's one sentence in there that talks about a S act, but it's it's a small one, and it's not one that goes on and on and on and on. It's just you know, it's she's telling a story almost. Well, well, she is. She's she's. It's in the form of a letter. Anyway, my point is, it's not very graphic in the romance section of the book. But you you don't... I didn't think... I say, I say, I say you. I'll give it from my point of view. I did not think that I would find myself feeling sorry for the characters. But I could see the anguish from, from all of the characters, every one of them, the different emotions you don't, in, in when I was reading this book, I didn't, I didn't have one particular, it, there wasn't a side, I wasn't team so-and-so or team so-and-so or I feel sorry for them or they're being 
crappy, go her, go him. No, it's very, it was very complex for me as a reader. So, and when I finished the book, it was one of those books that I can read a book and I sometimes at the end of it, I'm like, man, I really wish that didn't end that way. Or gosh, I hope this author comes out with a second book. I hope this becomes a series or I really want, I really want to know more. I want to know more about these characters. I want more than just one page of epilogue. I, 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 anyway, the, the book ended nicely. It, you know, it ended with a, put a bow on it and that's it. You know, I'm, I'm not sad that there's not, that this isn't in a series type of thing. I hope that makes sense. It probably doesn't, but I hope it does. <laughs> um, I highly recommend getting this book. Really do. It was beautiful. It's a beautiful book. Um, especially... a redemption. It's definitely worth reading if you're into redemption stories. Um, that That's definitely one. It, it gives the, the there's it gives, the chapters are from the Kenna, Kenna's point of view, and then the, they kind of go back and forth. It's Kenna, and then it's Ledger, and then it's Kenna, and then it's Ledger throughout the whole book, but it flows. It's, it's not, it, it, it just flows very good. And she is a number one New York Times bestselling author. Well deserved. Well, well deserved. It's a very good book. I can't wait to start the next one. But until then, I need to catch up on my TV shows. Hmm. Let's go in with... You know what? I'm going to go in in this palette with birthday suit because this is my birthday month. This was one of the few palettes that I did not have to wet my brush to get the color payoff or even use my finger. I mean, this is a dry brush. No finger. And... I don't know if you can see that, but I will wet my brush just so you can. These, they are powdery. Not too, too terribly bad. They are powdery. Not that this is a review, but I just felt like everyone was kind of crapping on this palette. And I thought it was pretty. And I think the kind of some of the general consensus of this palette was that you could only do a smoky eye. And, you know, that may be, there are some lighter colors in here. It's a really pretty light shimmer shade. Probably should have used that just so I could drive my point home, but I digress. But, you know what, I will put it. It's that shade, well, I'll sh swatch it right there. It's really pretty. Got all that on this side. Oh. But, I did not take any notes, which I probably should have written notes down so I could 
not be so scatterbrained when I'm going over these reviews, but you know, this is new to me. This is a new concept. This may not be something you guys even want to see. If it's not, let me know. I'm not going to completely quit doing it because I enjoy it, but maybe I won't make it so much, so much as I had planned, you know? <clears throat> Maybe do one a week versus trying to do the movie shows and a book, you know. So, just let me know, guys. That, that's all I ask. Let me go. I promise I'm not going to get mad if this isn't what you guys want to see. I promise. I promise. It's going to deepen that just a little bit more. Just touch yeah the consensus from from most people that i've seen was this palette was patchy the colors payoff wasn't good and i was like y'all must have got a dud because this palette performs beautifully for me it's one of my favorites it is probably <clears throat> my second favorite Morphe palette, the first being the first Jaclyn Hill. Um, and I'm not a Jaclyn Hill stan or any of that. I didn't watch her when she was younger or any of that. I mean, you know, of course, I, I do watch some of her content, but not, not that much. But her first palette, Excellent. I mean, I've hit pounds several, several, several shades. Um, I, I do enjoy that. But this one is is second. Um, I, I would dare give this the second favorite Morphe palette, even though it's pretty, pretty basic. It's basic for me, and that's... I don't have to give a lot of thought. When I open this palette... You know, it's 12 shades, but it's not something that I have to go, well, will this blend out with that? Will this work with that? They all work together. I mean, the name is Divine Neutrals. That's the name of it. You know, it's not meant to be, I give it a lot of thought palette, so to speak. <laughs> anyway, guys. Okay, that's it. That's it for the makeup. That is it for my review of the book. Oh, I did want to read one line in the book because it there's a there's typically a line in books that stick with me. And this happens to be is it the last line? No, it's not. It's towards the end of the book, but it gives nothing away. Um but I, I want to read it because it, it really, really spoke to me. But it says, <clears throat> Maybe it doesn't matter whether something is a coincidence or a sign. Maybe the best way to cope with the loss of the people we love is to find them in as many places and things as we possibly can. And in the off chance that the people we lose are still somehow able to hear us, maybe we should never stop talking to them. And when I read that line, I just, it just really, oh, I'm trying not to hear it now. It just was like, an aha moment for me, you know, because I, I, I fully believe that, you know, I really do. I always, that, that line to me sums up my love of cardinals. And when I see that cardinal or, you know, I, I have a cardinal tattoo for a, for a reason. Um, anyway, so, that's the line out of that book. I'm not going to go get all sentimental, I promise. 
Guys, thank you so much for sticking with me if you stuck by this long. Um, I promise the next ones won't be so all over the place. Or I'm going to try to promise. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.